Hi, Brian Arahan here uh, with Keller Williams Realty and Maps Coaching. I've been an agent, I've been an investor, uh, I've been a now a coach and having the opportunity now to be a, a operating partner or operating principal uh, or you know controlling partner of a Keller Williams franchise here in uh, Chino Hills, California. And uh, it's been a, been a wild ride in the last 10 years, so I'm very excited to share and have an opportunity to talk more. Yeah, so I got into real estate uh, when seeing my father do real estate. So I've had an opportunity to see him and work with him over the last, uh, when I got started. So since high school, I've been watching the industry and I really had an opportunity to, to see how he moved and what he did. It's important to model, you know, people who have been, you know, say successful. And so that first, you know, person, you know, was my father and really watching him and um, ultimately fast track my career in real estate because of uh, seeing how he approached the business. Um, I had a, a big focus when I got my real estate license in September 2010. I actually remember getting the, the actual magazine uh, for the 30 under 30 the following um, spring and it comes out roughly every May and, uh, and April. So the following year in the car with my parents and my, my whole family and I was looking at the magazine and say, hey, one day I'm going to be on this magazine. And uh, so that was 10 years ago. And really, I actually had the uh, thought to really look at that magazine every single year and see what the best were doing. Again, following the, the idea or concept of modeling and modeling success. And so uh, fast forward, and, you know, two years of reading a book a week, then that's when the opportunity came up and I felt that I was ready. And I jumped into the management role and we took that office from 60 agents to 215 agents in about uh, less than three years and you know things lined up and in 2018 I was able to be named you know National Association of Realtors uh, 30 under 30. I feel it's very important to have more young people in leadership uh, in just not even just real estate throughout the, you know, the country the, the different uh, areas of the local level as well as the national level. Uh, leadership is, is important. I believe that we truly need more leadership. Um, leadership is at a premium right now with everything going on in the world. It's uh, very concerning you know, taking on student loan debt and deciding whether, you know, what, what field should I be going in? Because I truly believe that we've got the, the fresh ideas, new ideas, different ideas that are really relevant to not only how we progress and stay relevant, however, how do we uh, change the way that uh, the the world runs. And young people who really care about not only themselves and yet the people around them and the communities. And I think there's a lot of them uh, out here that we, that, that still could use uh, maybe some direction. I've got multiple passion projects in my world and the biggest one I would say would be the uh, focus on uh, investing and bringing the opportunity for um, a simple way to invest for young uh, adults and, and just people in, in just the various communities in Southern California. And so uh, we're really working to start a a, a movement that I like to call um, Res Wealthy, right? Res Wealthy Moves. And what that is is really just the ability for uh, us to bring awareness to young adults in, in every community, really, how to build wealth through real estate investing and home ownership. One of the best moments I've said I'd have in a client would be early on in my career when I had the opportunity to um, work with one of my first clients. And this is say 2012. And uh, it was a, a lady who never thought that she'd be able to buy uh, a property for herself. It was her first property. No one in her uh, family had never owned a property before. And so I had my lender give her a call. She gets qualified. And she had the opportunity to buy um, a property with only about a few thousand dollars out of pocket, less than $5,000 at that time. After that, she refers me to her, her daughter and we make her daughter a homeowner as well. So now we go from having no homeowners in the family to having uh, multiple. 
So COVID is uh, is is quite uh, the the impact had quite the impact on our economy. And so I remember this is maybe mid March and, and multiple listings on the market, multiple clients showing property, and you know we get the order from the governor that uh, of California that everything is shut down. Um, fortunately, you know, we started to figure it out. Um, we've got great real estate agents in the state, um, at the state level who lobby for real estate agents to be essential. So within about a week, we were able to get back to being essential and being able to have some reduced activities that are just the most important. Um, as an office and offices, we had to figure out how we have uh, agents work from home. You know, instead of doing all of our events live, we actually shifted everything um, from the coaching side of things um, from uh, in person to, to digital and actually had one of the largest digital events in real estate that has ever been done um, called Bold Pivot and we had over 44,000 people who were a part of that group um, and we used a Facebook platform, we used you know, a combination of Zoom and we used a combination of just different things that we did. So for overnight we went from being live in person uh, you know, coaches to uh, basically virtual you know, producers. It was very, very challenging. Um, you know, a lot of late nights, a lot of early mornings, a lot of uh, continued, uh, you know, uh, best practices, masterminding about how we continue to be able to deliver our uh, experience. The funny thing is we're having our, our best year ever. Um, we're doing the best that we've ever done um, in this virtual atmosphere. So we were all going to get there anyway in a digital environment and COVID has sped that up. Unfortunately, everything that's going on um, is, is tragic and we, you know, we pray for the health of everybody involved and want people to be healthy and safe. And as a business owner, COVID has caused us to do things that we never thought we could do. And now we're doing it and we're living it and we're actually doing better than we've ever done. So sometimes some of the worst moments can cause some of the best opportunities in any world, in any business, uh, as long as you're willing to open your mind and look at it that way. Um, I would say, you know, if I can do anything to help, you know, mentor help, I do that regularly. Uh, feel free to follow me on Instagram at uh, Brian E. Real Estate. And um, I'm here to help support and uh, encourage, you know, our people uh, in this community to continue to grow and, and get the most out of themselves and, and ultimately do it for their families.